And now, folks, actually, one of your lot coming out from Manly, eh? Never heard of the place. <laughs> she is one of the stars of the sketch show. Please go wild for Miss Kitty Flanagan. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, I'm Kitty. I'm uh, back from London. I've been living in London, which is great. It's cheap, it's friendly. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm in a share house with five other people, which I think is where you want to be at 35. Yeah. <laughs> Jealous? Yeah. I, I'm actually doing very well uh, in London. Uh, there's no one in from London, is there? No, I'm doing very well in London, exceptionally well. I, am, I actually have my own television over there. And uh, <laughs> it's really big, so I feel like I'm doing okay. <laughs> I tell you what I love living about over there. It's great. You can just, you get to travel everywhere, you know. I've, and obviously Kitty Flanagan, oh, I've been to Ireland. Oh, that's a beautiful place. Rolling green hills and potatoes and the cores, you know. Seriously, you could spend half a day there. It's just beautiful. <laughs> I tell you, the best thing right, about travelling, you've got to make the most of every situation, haven't you? I remember I was in Bolivia, right? And uh, what I did, I went up into the slum areas and I hung out with the kids. Beautiful kids, gorgeous smiles, you know, big faces. And, uh, oh, I was up there, you know, one under each arm, feeling a little bit, a bit UNICEF, you know, a bit world vision. <laughs> a little bit, we are the world. <laughs> we are the universe. I didn't know the words, but they didn't speak English. It didn't matter. It was just... <laughs> it, was, it was seriously special, it was, to one of the little feckers nicked off with my camera. <laughs> just, so I chased him. I did. I chased him. I, ch I was always going to take him. I'd been eating all week, you know. I chased him. <laughs> chased him. All the way home, I get there, I'm huffing and puffing. And then I kicked his cardboard house down. <laughs> oh, I said, hey, who's laughing now? Yeah. <laughs> There's your Kodak moment. Let's get a snapshot of that. <laughs> oh, come on. Where's your big smile now? Ooh, come on. It's good. It's open plan. <laughs> I'm from Bolivian changing rooms. It's, it's supposed to be. And look, to be. Look, I felt bad. So what I did, I sent them the box that my fridge came in. So now they've got a high rise. It's worked out fine for everyone. <laughs> so. I do, I do have. Uh, one travel tip for you, because I tell you, the best place I've been, right, France, right, got to go to Paris, and uh, very exciting, went there, and I was a bit intimidated because of the whole language thing. I'm not, I'm not stupid, like, I've studied, I am a languagist, in fact. And, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, don't laugh at me, laugh with me. I know I was making a mistake, I know the words linguologist. And this is what I discovered about the French, right, get this. They don't have a word in their whole language for apes. I know. It's okay. That's how I was too when I found out. <laughs> but the thing is, right, what they do is they use the same word for monkeys that they use for apes. They say, the monkey, le singe, the ape. Oh, I'm too tired to make up any more words. Le singe again. That's it, right? One word for two things, which you can't do, because my favourite film is Planet of the Apes. <laughs> and it, that's not the funny bit. And in this film... <laughs> Right, Marky Mark, because I like the classic. <laughs> and this film, Marky Mark is walking along, and he goes, Eh, I can't believe the planet's being taken over by monkeys. And the big gorilla goes, Rah! Monkeys? How dare you call us monkeys? We're apes, not monkeys. There's a big difference between apes and monkeys. Rah! <laughs> now, you see, <laughs> we all watch that, and we go, Well, yes, that is a very good point. But when the French watch that, and I have seen Le Planet des Singes, <laughs> it looks like this. Eh, I can't believe the planet's been taken over by Singe. Rawr! Singe? How do you call a Singe? We are Singe, not Singe. <laughs> There's a big difference between a Singe and a Singe. <laughs> 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 What's incredible is that the French actually still watch that and go, yes, that's a very good point. <laughs> Thank you very much. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. I'll see you next time. <laughs> next up, ladies and gentlemen, he used to be an alternative rocker. Now he is a top American comedian. Go wild, go crazy for Mr. Greg Barrett. Hi. 
I warn you right up front, I have a tendency to, uh, to swear. Um, I don't think that's cool, you know? I don't, I, don't, I don't feel fucking good about it. I don't think it's right. You know, I think it makes you look ignorant. And I, it's a habit that I have. It's a bad habit. I'd like to quit. It's not easy to quit. It's a weird thing, you know, because there's no program. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you have a drug problem, they have an N.A. Or if you have a drinking problem, there's an A.A., but there's no fucking A for me to go. <laughs> have a fellowship and a cup of coffee. Get a few phone numbers. <laughs> Just turned 40. One day, you're a young man. You're vital. You have plans and information. Next day, next day, boom, old man, brand new vocabulary. You got new words you're using. Ointment, ointment. <laughs> Ointment. Why'd you say ointment, dude? Because I needed one. Why? Because I was sore. Sore from what? How about this? Fucking sleeping wrong. From sleeping wrong! <laughs> My dad used to say that bullshit all the time. He'd be like, I slept wrong. I'd be like, dude, how do you fuck that up? That's just a lay down thing, man. You just lay down. It's just lay down. They didn't even put instructions on a bed. That's how simple it is. You lay down. <laughs> Want to be a rock star? I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> 40, no band, that plan has some massive fucking holes in it. <laughs> I just think that's the coolest thing you can do with your life, man. I think being a rock star is like the coolest thing, because rock, people that are rock stars, they rock, that's what they do, that's their job. But why don't you rock at work? I don't know why you don't. I mean, I don't know what you do for a living, but why not, when you're done with your job, why don't you, boosh, fire off a flash pot. <laughs> fire off a flash pot, let people know you're done. <laughs> boosh, here's my report. <laughs> Sometimes women, man, that's the fact. Women at a concert, sometimes they go crazy. They do stuff they wouldn't normally do. How about that, they say? <laughs> what I got for you. Sometimes a woman will take a panty, a panty, yeah, off. And then fire it on the stage. God, that's fantastic. That doesn't happen at anybody else's job. <laughs> But that's awesome, why can't that happen in regular life? Maybe you're in a Starbucks and dude kicks down an awesome latte. Why don't you fire him a panty? Yeah. Let him know. Yeah. Nice job, dude. Next time you come in there, fucking latte hot waiting. <laughs> Finally, I have this beautiful baby girl. Her name is True, and uh, she's two. She's made out of goo. <laughs> She makes me nervous because she's cooler than me. She's, oh, you know, she's younger. She's gonna be cooler than me. And I'm, I'm not really famous or anything, and I'm afraid she's not gonna understand what I do for a living. And then I'll come by her room when she's like five, and she'll be explaining to a friend, "Yeah, I think he's a clown." <laughs> but I thought I could influence her. So when making a music choice for her as a child, I didn't want to go the typical children's music route. There was not gonna be any fucking wheels on the bus at my house. <laughs> No itsy bitsy spider. No where is Thumpkin, do you know that one? It comes with a little hand play that you have to perform, you know? Where is Thumpkin, where is Thumpkin? Here I am. Oh, fucking no. no. I picked the music. I thought I'd start off with something awesome, something classic, something smart, something legendary, something that's gonna last, something that means something. A little Black Sabbath. And what I found out is, Babies hate Black Sabbath. <laughs> Makes them cry, they don't like it. And what I found out furthermore is babies love Thumpkin, they love it. If you were a room full of babies right now and I said, where is Thumpkin, where is Thumpkin, took the mic and held it out here, you know what you would say? Here I am! <laughs> and I'd be like, how are you today, sir? And then you would divide the room in half. Very well, I thank you. <laughs> and then you would throw a diaper up on stage. <laughs> My name's Greg Barrett. Thank you all very much. Thanks.